So Louis, how does it feel to be named Hull City club captain? Yeah, it's an absolute honour, uh, a privilege, something that I'm immensely proud of. I know my family and um, certain somebody watching down over me will be, um, will be immensely proud of. And again, yeah, being from the city, um, representing the city week in, week out, which I've done previously, but see now as, as club captain, it'll mean that, um, that little bit more. As a hometown lad, does it make it extra special? Absolutely, yeah. Um, being from the city, I know what it means to people. I know what it means to the thousands that come and watch us every week. Um, and again, I know what it means to myself playing for my hometown club. So to be named club captain, again, like I've just touched on there, is something that I'm, um, I'm very, very proud of. What was the conversation like with the manager? Um, it was very short and sweet um, in, the, in the gaffer's uh, typical gaffer's way. Um, short and sweet, straight to the point. Um, just told me that he wanted me to be club captain. Um, he wanted me to lead the boys on and off the field. Um, I've grieved as my, my vice, which is, is an amazing achievement for him as well, being such a young lad and, and again being from the, the city, um, for him to be named vice captain is amazing. So um, hopefully we both have a very successful year leading the lads. What was your reaction when he told you? I was a little bit taken back. Um, again, I've touched on it before, bittersweet in the sense of people might think bittersweet being named as captain, but unbelievably proud and I'm so, so happy on the flip side that there's one person who I would have wanted to ring straight away, which would be my dad, um, who I recently lost and he's sadly no longer with us, but I'm sure somewhere and, and somehow he knows the news and, and I'm sure he'll be looking down with a, with a big smile on his face and, and knowing I'm doing him proud. How proud are your family? Absolutely, yeah, even more so. We're, we're an unbelievably close family and we always have been. Um, but with recent news of, of Dad passing, um, I feel it's brought us even closer together and I didn't think we could be any closer, but in, in, in these sort of unprecedented times and, and us losing Dad, it's, it's brought us all, all together and that's something we need to do. We've got a younger brother, got two older brothers, a mum to look after and um, an immediate family that have all pulled together and, and been amazing during these times. So just need to carry on doing what we're doing, carry on making him proud and, and I'm sure he's looking down with, um, with a lot of pride. How big an influence did your dad have over your career? He's the reason I'm stood here. Um, both mum and dad was amazing. We'll be growing up and, until the day we lost dad. Um, fortunately, I've got an amazing mum still to um, to try and sort of carry the weight of, of having such an amazing parents. And, and dad was everything, right from me being sort of the day I was born till till the day he left us. Um, week in, week out, took me up and down the motorway, and I just have so many things to thank him for. Not just just in terms of football, just the person he's made me in terms of everyday life, but I'll forever be in debt to that man um, and I can't speak highly enough of him. What kind of captain do you want to be? Lead by example. Um, I said it previously to you, Dan. I um, just want to lead by example, lead the lads out week in, week out, do all the right things on the training ground, in and around the place and, and just represent the club with, with great pride and, and again, just um, be there for the lads. There's going to be times this season where it's going to get difficult and need to rally round and some lads might need an arm around the shoulder, some lads might need a sort of kick up the backside and it's about finding out sort of how lads handle, handle things differently and getting to know people even more than what I thought I already did and, um, and getting the best out of everybody. You again experienced the captaincy two years ago as well in Richie Smallwood's absence. Yeah, Rich was fantastic. Rich was a fantastic captain to, to follow and, and sort of be a successor if, if, if you like. And Rich did many things what I'll take into, into my time during, during sort of being the club captain and, and used, to my, um, used to my advantage and learn bits from him. He's been around the game long enough and, and I speak very highly of Rich. So yeah, I'll take bits from him and, and use them to sort of um, to help the lads and help myself this year. It's a great honour for Jacob to be named vice-captain at his young age. Yeah, again, just said there, it's, it's amazing. Jacob's a confident lad and he's done excellent so far and he's got a hell of a career ahead of him if he keeps his head down and, and knuckles down and works hard. And I don't think he'll realise how big of an achievement it is to be named vice-captain of, of your hometown club at such a young age. But I'm sure at some point it'll sort of, it'll maybe pinch himself and realise. But that's testament to him as a player and as a lad, more importantly, to, to be given such a fantastic role. and a, sort of big responsibility of a, a club this size um, and have that trust put in you just, just speaks volumes of the player and the person that he is. How much are you looking forward to leading the boys out on Saturday against Bristol City? Yeah, we're aiming to go, the worst bits out of the way pre-season, um, always tough, always full of hard work which is what we all want, um, but we've done everything we can, sounds cliche but all the hard work's done now, we've just got to get the, um, sort of the game plan in place and, and look forward to leading the boys out Saturday and, and getting um, them home supporters three points. And finally, what are your hopes for this season? We have big aspirations. I think you've seen that from the owner and, and the management from the staff they've brought in and, and the stuff they're trying to put in place. Um, 
I think it only, it only speaks of positive aspirations and I think we've all bought into that idea. I don't think we'd be at the club and I don't think the owner and the manager would, would sort of have us in the building if we didn't all sort of sing from the same hymn sheet and, and be on the same page. So we're looking to, to go on better and, and get out this division. We know it'll be a tough, tough ask. The Championship's a, a brutal league and so much quality, so many teams previously been in the Premier League and, and have Premier League squads so we know the task in hand, we know how tough it's going to be but we're an ambitious group and we'll, we'll give it everything we've got.